welcome back to my channel. It's me, Catherine, your English teacher in France. If you're new to my channel, welcome everyone. So in today's video, guys, we will be talking about the common mistakes with the two adjectives. These are not just the ordinary adjectives, everyone, which we or most of us already know, but this is about or these are the adjectives which we call participial adjectives are you guys familiar with these adjectives Participial adjectives. Yes. Have you heard of these adjectives? So when we say participial adjectives, these are actually the adjectives that end in ing and ed. Many of my students, especially the ESL students, they are confused how to use the ed and ing adjectives. How about you guys? Or do you sometimes become mixed up? with the difference between the two if you misuse these two kinds of adjectives you might make your listener confused of what you are trying to say so there are many of my students they say for example teacher this lesson is not interesting i am boring is that correct do we say i am boring or I am bored which is correct if you want to know which one is correct keep watching everyone when we use ed adjectives everyone we actually use this when we talk about the feeling all right when you're trying to express your feeling then you need to use the ed adjective for example if something is not interesting for you you can say I am bored you don't say I am boring now, many of my students say, teacher, I am boring. Let's have another lesson. But this is actually wrong. Instead, you have to say bored. I am bored. I am bored because you see the subject there, I. So you are expressing about the feeling. So again, if you're trying to talk about the feeling of someone, then you need to use the ED adjective, everyone, right? Now, what about the ing adjective for example boring when do we say boring you don't say i am boring teacher i want to do something interesting no you're going to say i am bored teacher i am bored so when do we say boring boring we use the ing adjective when you talk about something sometimes someone or any situation that causes the feeling all right for example Many students will say, teacher, I don't like grammar. So grammar is something. So grammar can do something to you that can cause any feeling to you, right? Yes, yeah, so in that case, you can say, for example, I don't like grammar, teacher. Grammar is boring. You can say, it is boring. It's boring. I am bored. It's boring. So again, the difference between ing and ed adjectives is very important for you to know so ed adjective we use it when we express about the feeling of someone while the ing adjective we use it to express about something or someone that causes the feeling for example you say my teacher talks too much i am bored my teacher is boring my teacher is boring why do you say your teacher is boring because she or he makes you feel bored so you say my teacher is boring i am bored so i am bored because you are trying to express about your feeling all right another example for the adjective interesting and interested now interesting again this ing interested is ed again ing we use it for something or someone that causes the feeling but we use ed adjective interested when you talk about your feelings for example you are watching a movie but you don't like this movie are you gonna say oh this movie is not interested 
Are you going to say that? Of course not. All right. Instead, you have to say, oh, this movie is not interesting. I am not interested in this movie. All right. I, because you're talking about your feeling, I am not interested in this movie. This movie is not interesting. So that means to say, this movie doesn't interest you, doesn't make you feel interested because the movie is boring. So you are bored. All right. So that is the difference, everyone. Now, someone invited you to go on a trip. All right. The trip is going to be tomorrow. All right. All right. Someone asked you, hey, how are you feeling for the trip tomorrow? Are you going to say, I am exciting. Are you going to say that? Of course not. Because you're talking about your feeling. Again, when you express about your feeling, you need to use the ED adjective, not the ING adjective. So you have to say, I am excited. Yes, I am excited. I am excited for the trip tomorrow. Now, for example, someone is trying to say something and you think it's very hard to understand. You can't understand that thing easily. Are you going to say, oh, I'm confusing. Are you going to say that? Of course not. I'm confusing. So that means you're talking about your feeling. Again, when you express about your feeling, then you have to use the ED adjective, not the ING adjective. So you should say, I am confused. All right. I am confused. Do not say, I am confusing. Well, I am confusing is also possible. But again, if you say, I am confusing, it means to say, you're making someone confused. All right? So you have to say, I am confused. You are confusing. It means to say, that person is trying to say something that makes you confused. That person, you can say, you are confusing because that person is making you confused. But if talking about your feeling, then you have to say, I am confused. I am confused. You are confusing. This lesson is confusing. I am confused. All right. Again, ED adjective when you express about your feeling, but when you express about something or someone that causes the feeling, you need to use the I and the adjective, everyone. All right. I hope you guys are able to understand the difference between ing adjective and ed adjective or we call them participial adjectives perfectly, all right? I hope you guys are not confused anymore about these two adjectives or I hope that these two adjectives are not confusing you anymore, okay? <laughs>